When a storm creeps in, it only takes a few minutes that is not good. for things to turn ugly. Well, there had to be at least 20 accidents just like that. Honest to goodness, it was just a domino effect, domino effect, domino effect. I would calculate a minimum of at least 50 vehicles. This is chaos. A pileup this big can take hours to clear. These drivers aren't going anywhere. These are the people doing their best to help avoid that chaos, biting back at Mother Nature. We do have it coming out both sides. Before a storm even hits, brining is the first line of defense. We're just uh, merging into the 401 here, and uh, hopefully everyone out there cooperates. I'm not out here to be your nuisance. I'm out here to save your life. That stream of liquid is salt brine, a solution more efficient than dry salt alone. This is dehydrated salt brine. This is what does the melting on the road. Jeff Leach is an expert on highway maintenance. The key point is that salt doesn't do anything. Salt needs to change phase from solid to liquid and become a brine. So first it has to dissolve, and it's the brine that does the melting. Then come the salt crystals of different sizes. They work together to keep the ice off. So the dice are meant to represent that the small cubes will dissolve quick, forming a brine, creating a, ro a safe road. The larger particles will provide staying power while the storm continues. If the storm gets heavier, the salters step in. The road temperature has to be just right, close to the freezing point, for the salt to work. If you see this gauge over here, the green is uh, air temperature, ambient, and the red is road temperature. Ricky Young is one of the people who make that call. Hi, Patrice. It's Rick, how you doing? Not bad. I was wondering if you'd be so kind to call the salters in. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you in a bit, okay? Yeah. Bye-bye. Okay. Right. There's a storm coming in, 10 to 15 centimeters. It's going to hit just for morning rush hour. So uh, we're calling in all the salters first, and then we're calling in all the plows, and we're going to have some fun. <laughs> If the snow falls and sticks for long enough... Okay guys, line them up and let's roll. Sometimes an army of plows rolls in to clear the massive span of highway. Let's go, let's go. Back at the pileup... We're at a standstill. It's been eight hours and the highway is still closed. A long day for the tow companies working to clear the chaos as fast as possible. Keep going! Okay, let's get going, guys. All okay? right, buddy, see you. It's a great team. But it's not over yet. Hours of snow and no maintenance mean the road ahead is covered in ice. The highway's still shut down. Crews have to make sure it's safe before cars can roll through. I'd love to send these guys on, but we have to make sure the roads are safe. So we have to apply the salt before the motoring public starts. And then uh, we're going to roll the motoring public through nice and slow and slowly break the salt into the, into the ash hole. It's called a rolling block. The salt out there, it's activated by the, the tires on the transporters and cars. We're starting our uh, rolling block with OPP assistance. Just keep them nice and slow. Getting the traffic moving over the salted roads, and all of a sudden the salt starts working, melting everything. It takes another 20 minutes for the salt, the true workhorse of highway maintenance, to start working. A small price to pay to make sure there's no more trouble on the highway. Everything's looking good. We can get things all rolling. Speed advice only are now reopening. It's open, man. It's open. It's open. 